Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use this amazing tool in Revit called the Design Options that allows you to create different design options for your 3D model. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And of course, follow me on all social media. Links are in the description of this video. But anyway, let's talk about the design options. Now, Revit has this new cool, amazing tool that allows you to go through different design options and test them out and see them how they work without having to save separate files as you would if you would be working in any other piece of software. You would kind of have to create, take the file and then create uh, different versions of the files of the file with uh, different uh, design options. But in Revit, you can do everything inside of one file. So the this, what the design options allows you to do is to create something that you have and that's your main model and then you can just select certain elements and uh, take them and create an option set. Now what option set allows you to do it creates a whole separate uh, part of the model and it works basically like a link in Revit and uh, links work there separate and you can't edit them inside of the main model but you can kind of edit them uh, in in their own way so this is how design options work and then inside of the, these option sets you have your uh, actual different options that you can change up and create changes to the actual model but enough with the theory I know it sounds confusing but let's see it in practice and uh, you'll see it works amazing and it uh, helps you out uh, during your workflow so this is the project that I'm going to be using this is a building I've got a bunch of tutorials on on stuff I did to this building from graphics to to, to creating the different kinds of presentations so the links to those tutorials are in the description of this video as well so let's say we have this building and here you can see I've got these four windows these four large wide windows and let's say I want to try out a different version where instead of one large window I'm going to have two separate uh, kinda uh, narrower windows so how do you do that so we need to create a design option set. So for design options you can either go here to the manage tab and you have your des design options over here or what's cool about this tool uh, you actually have it over here so it says design options over here. So any tab you're on doesn't matter you can go here and open up your design options dialog so that's what's cool that's why I prefer using this uh, this little icon over here but anyway so here we're in the, the design options dialog and you have something called main model so main model is something you don't really change it's it's what stays the same it's everything except the things you're going to actually edit and here you've got to add you've got your option set and your options so here are just some tools for the option set and some tools for the options so first let's create a new option set and this is what you get so you can have an infinite number of option sets that's just groups that you can kinda uh, uh, toggle through different option design options so let's go over here and for the option set let's just rename it into something called maybe Windows and let's just say OK. So this is the, the Windows option set and here for the options we have one option and it says here primary. Now this primary you can't change that it always have to, has to stay in the name and you can only change the, the name of the option and one option will always be the primary option and then you can have a kinda a few more uh, secondary options. So let's just uh, go here and rename this option let's just call it uh, Big Window. and hit OK. So this Bing window, it's our primary option. Now it doesn't really make sense to have only one option. You, the point of option sets is to have more options and to kind of toggle through these options and show them to your client or just to your colleagues and then he'll, he'll, uh, use that to make a final decision. So now let's add a new, uh, new version or new option. So just hit here new for option and select it and of course it's named option one so we're just going to rename that to something more usable so let's call it dual windows and uh, now that we have this so 
Windows. Yeah, okay. Now that we have this, uh, we've got everything set up. So this is how design options work. You really need to first set everything up here in the design options dialog, and then you go to the model and start making changes. So once this is set up, you just hit close, and now you can edit the model. So let's just select the windows that we want to kind of change up and select them. And now you need to add them to your option set. And you can either do that here on the manage tab, if you have add to set, or you can go over here and it's quite easier and uh, more accessible. Just go here, add to set. And what this does, it, it, it takes these elements from your main model and puts them into this group or a link where you can edit them and change them uh, with the different options. So let's hit add to option set. And here we've got our option set is Windows and let's add them to both versions and hit OK. And we've got this warning. So why did we get this warning that we can't, cannot be ignored? So we can we need to cancel out of this. That's because these windows are actually hosted on the wall and whenever you have some element that's hosted on something else, you really need to add the host to the option set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select both walls and then let's zoom in and let's add all the windows. I'm just holding the control key to add all of these elements. So let's go over here. Yeah, add all of these elements. So we've got both walls and uh, windows. And once we have this, let's go add to option set and just hit OK again. And now it works. So now if, if you see, as you can see here, if I go over and try to select something, as you can see, we're not really selecting these walls. That's because they're now acting like a separate group or link in Revit. So to change them, we need to go down here and we've got this drop menu. So you've got this main model and then you've got this big window and dual window option. So let's go to big window option. And as you can see, everything grays out and we we can only edit the the wall and the windows and we can't really edit anything else but we want to 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 leave this as big windows we're really testing out the small windows option so let's uh, go to dual windows and it kind of messes this up uh, but don't worry when you kind of finish everything it will be it will look normal so let's select all of these uh, big windows and delete them because we don't need them for this option and let's go to here to architecture, go to window, and let's use maybe this one. Yeah, let's go with this one, the, the tall one. So let's place like two windows like this. I'm not being overly precise, but I'm just going to kind of show you how this option works. That's pretty much it for this. So let's just select all of these windows and let's copy them to the other wall. And let's say we're fine with this. So we're testing out, do we want to have this or uh, do we want to have these big windows? And as you can see here, when I toggle, I can see both versions and then I can kind of show them to the client and uh, have him help me make the final decision. But if I go here to the main model, we're back and we're seeing these big windows. That's because if we go here into option set, the big windows is primary. But if we select the dual windows, go here to the option set tools and go make primary. Wait for a second. Yeah, close. Okay. And as you can see now, this is primary. And to see the big windows option, we go, we need to actually enter these option sets. So let's hit big windows. And as you can see, now we have them. So let's go back to main model. And as you can see, the problem we had over here, it's now fixed once we've loaded it in as a primary option. And uh, one more thing, if we go into maybe a level one, you can see it actually changes in all uh, in all views. So even in floor plan, we can uh, switch to big windows. Now it works as big windows, or we switch to main model or to dual windows, and it works as dual windows. And as you can see, uh, whenever we're in an option set, so my main model option sets, whenever we're in option sets, uh, these uh, the option elements are black or darker and everything else is kind of grayed out. So you know what to select. 
but anyway that's that's pretty much how you use option sets uh, in in Revit and you can you can see them in all views I, I'm just guessing that most people are going to use uh, 3d views to make a design uh, design decisions with option sets or with the design options okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial it's a very complicated subject and I just tried to create a simple overview so you can kinda get the basic idea of how design options work in Revit so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day